hello friends welcome to my channel hs wari friends today i will show you how to identify a antenna switch in your smart mobile phone friends we will discuss the number of ways to find out the antenna switch on pcb friends there are two way you can find with two ways antenna switch first you have to observe the pcb by observing you can uh, find out uh, where is the antenna switch ic on pcb and the second option you have to go through the service symmetric diagram of that particular mobile phone so friend we will discuss both the ideas one by one let's start with the observing first for that let's see the pcv friends there is a one micro uh, samsung mobile phone pcv you can see this is a samsung mobile phone pcv friends uh, i i would like to inform you there are two section on pcv one is network section and another is power section so you have to identify which is your network section i will tell you friends you can this this is the network section of this pcv friends uh, you will find two things in every network section with with the help of these two things you can identify the network section first of all you have to identify the network section then you can find out the ic switch network antenna switch so there are two, two things which are compulsory in this uh, network section F one is uh, oscillator you can see here is a oscillator which is a gray in color and uh, make uh, made out of steel body you can see rest all i see color is black what this i this oscillator color is uh, gray so friends this is the first component uh, which every network section having and you can uh, identify the network section with the help of uh, this component and the second is uh, this antenna switch this is called external antenna connecting point you can connect the external antenna here to che check your network sections problems so friends 98% uh, mobile phones having this external antenna connecting points and uh, only 2% mobile phone having no external antenna connecting point so friends with the help of these two this and this you can identify the network section this once you get uh, know which is your antenna section then you this this is antenna connecting point this is uh, you have to track the track on this uh, PCV you can see there are lines circuit lines are going out from this PCV and they are directly going to this IC friends you can see there are two antenna connecting points every maximum mobile phones having antenna on their back cover and uh, they are connected to PC with these uh, two connecting points you can see here are two connecting points uh, and you have to track this you can see there are the number of lines you have to track these lines you can see these three lines are grounded first second third they are connected to ground only the one line which is not grounded you can see this is going here to this external antenna connecting point and from here you can see this is going to this to this ic so friends this is our antenna switch uh, antenna switch is always next to your antenna connecting point or external antenna connecting point so friends so you have to see the external 
antenna connective points or you have to see the this uh, two connective points and uh, next to next to this two things uh, you will see the ic antenna switch so friend this this was the first method you can uh, find out which is your antenna switch and the second method you have to download the survey symmetric diagram of a particular mobile phone friends every mobile phones having no service symmetric diagram available on internet so you have you can use a similar mobile phone service symmetric diagram same series mobile phone service symmetric diagram you can use a maximum same series mobile phones having uh, the same service metric diagram there are little bit different between the components uh, of the same series of mobile phones so you have to download the service metric diagram i have one service metric diagram of a samsung mobile phone gt s5380 you can see friends there is a ANT 100, ANT 101. These are two antenna connecting points which we have already seen on PCB. And uh, you can see this uh, blue color line is running toward right hand side. And you can see there is a RFS 100. This is the external antenna connecting point. And next, this is going to this IC this ic name is pam 100 friends you get this you can see this is a and t is written you can see there is a, a and t is written on this ic this this means this this point of this ic is connected to antenna of this mobile phone so friends once you get this number pam 100 you have to go to the diagram full mobile phone full diagram you can see here is a full diagram of the same mobile phone and now you have to find out the pam 100 these are the ic's on this pcb which you have already seen with the help of camera friends now you have to find out pam 100 you can see here is a pam 100 this is our network switch friends you can see there is a ant 101100 these are two antenna connecting points which we have already seen on pcb friends there are some capacitors and uh, inductors are connected nearby to this antenna and you can see this is rfs 100 which is our external antenna connecting point which already we have seen on pcb and uh, next you can see there are a capacitor inductors and resistor, re, number of three resistors are here and finally you can see pam 100 friends pam 100 is our antenna switch so with the help of these two methods you can find out the antenna switch friends hope you like my video if you like my video then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching